Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be on the little Dollar Tree lamps and I'm going to do the rose lamp. I seen somebody do it. I liked it. I said I was going to try it. And here are the roses I'm going to use on this black lamp. But even though we doing a rose lamp, I'm going to still use paper because it'll give me an extra, and that's a cardstock paper, which will give me an extra added um, stability when it comes to putting the glue on because this lamp is has a plastic shade. So by putting a, another piece of black on top of it will help uh, reduce the, um, the amount of heat. So, and I'm not worrying about being even with it because the flowers are only going on the front. They're only going on the front. So I'm putting a little strip on here, making sure my lamp is, is pretty much even. Oh, that glue touched my finger. It's on here nicely. be perfect as long as the paper is on there and then I'm gonna add these little clips here just to help hold it down that's all and then I'm gonna continue to put the rest of the glue on there So I don't really think there's no way of putting doing this rose lamp without, you know, adding extra support like this piece of paper. So that's just my idea. So I'll be back once I stick my, this. My um, black paper is stuck now. Everything is stuck. So now I'm going to go around with some scissors, just some scissors, and I'm going to trim off the top. My hot glue is ready. To put my roses on. This don't have to be a hundred percent piece. It don't have to be um like cut 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 perfect, but we don't leave too much out. And before you just start sticking, you don't just start sticking. You um you set things up and you see where things gonna go. So. My rose is going to go in the front pattern. Some more glue. Like I said, these are my roses. I'm going to be using. I ordered these roses from Timu. I think they cost $5. $4.99 for the whole box from Timu. If y'all don't know about Timu yet, y'all need to know about Timu because Timu got everything everything you need and then keep cheap so basically i'm going to carefully pull all these pieces out because you don't need them in there and these are these are not silk flowers they are foam so i'm gonna take them all out and then i'm gonna start creating the pattern for my um so what I'm going to do now is basically see how to position and how many that I need to put on here at one time because I'm only doing the front and not the back so only the front of this lamp gonna be done because it only costs a dollar or something and people don't want to pay for the work that we do so I got everything lined up. Oh, I didn't put it over on the side. Let me start again. I'm gonna put that past the line. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's gonna take seven, seven, and seven. Do a count, make sure we got seven, seven, seven. Because that's all I have is this one box. 
So I got seven, seven, and seven. Five. So I think three rolls should be enough when it comes to doing this. If you put it on there right, you should be able to get three rolls and still cover all the tops and the bottom. So I got enough for seven, seven, seven. My paper is stuck. I don't want a whole bunch of edges hanging out. Now, if y'all got another way of making this lamp, then let me know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the hot glue on here. And we gotta remember, this lamp is plastic. So put your, I think I'm gonna put the glue on it first. And then I'm gonna let it sit a little bit to it almost, not almost dry, just a little bit because I don't want um, my lamp to melt and buckle from the inside because that's what it's gonna do, buckle. So we don't want that. So let's just start, it's like it might be, see when it start turning white, then it's cooling off a little bit. So now we can start sticking. them together without leaving no whole lot of space. Be mindful of the glue. Nobody likes any messy work. seven. We'll put some more glue on here to prep them up a little bit. So if you don't use, so this will help. That paper protection is going to make this thing stick on there without melting the lamp. Because I'm looking inside and the lamp is not melting. Part one is finished of my rose lamp. No, it does not go all the way around the back. I don't need to put it there. So that's just one part. Make sure it's stuck to the paper because, and check the lamp inside. I'm checking it inside, it's not buckling. So, and I'm gonna continue to do this until I'm finished. I know y'all gonna wanna make this lamp too. So just get your stuff together, prep it. You don't need a whole lot of glue on it. Just enough. Just a little bit, maybe just in that hole, just around that front. Because the rose don't stay still. We don't want it dripping everywhere. And then when you finish, you can probably go back over it and add some on the sides. So I got more than last time. So I'm gonna stand up because that was hurting my hurting my arm a little bit. See how it's looking? And this is only working because of that paper I put on the back of it. And just basically prep, put it together, just like that and just keep adding the roses. And you'll get one of these famous, this, this fabulous glam roses. So let's get some more together. And we're just gonna keep sticking. And then we're gonna get some, maybe some pearls, some, some big gems and put it in there.
And doing it this way just gives the, the roses a chance to, to, um, to glue, to dry up a little bit. Like I said, it's, um, it's hot glue and the lamp is shade is plastic. And just basically just keep sticking, um, trying to close it up as much as possible. It's looking pretty already. Not too gappy, because you don't want it gappy, but if it got a little gap in there, that's okay. some things to put on here If you push them closer, it'll close all them holes up because the glue still got some time. Not too bad. Not so bad. So for the most part, the lampshade is done. It's got some 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 gaps in here that I don't like, so I'm gonna just add a little teeny bit of glue in there and then try to push them close push them close rearrange it push them close and close some of the gap up so that's all i'm doing now when i'm trying to close some of the gap up i just want to do this gap i didn't push them close enough well i'm gonna leave it like that let me go find some gems so what i'm doing now is just basically Adding a few dots under here, under the petal, to make it flatter on this side. And uh, just so it won't be like so much sticking out, I'm just gonna flatten them only on the both two, on the both sides of it. To make it look like this, because I'm gonna add some, because I didn't push my roses together all the way, it left a little gap inside so I'm gonna add some bling inside the gla the gaps. It's all just a little dot and push it and hold it and then that will give you the finished look on this on this on the back end. And I'm gonna do the same thing off of that because see how it look like it's open like that. I don't like it like that. So I'm just gonna add just a teeny dot, teeny dot. Close it up. I ain't even have enough to do the whole lamp anyway. Cause I only bought one box of white. And I think I need what? Three, six, nine, ten, and twelve. And I wouldn't even put that many on it cause it's this box costs five dollars. If from Timu, if you order this same box of roses from Amazon, you're paying ten dollars a box. So I ordered all these from from Timu. When I saw it, I was excited. So I <laughs> ordered a whole bunch of boxes, different colors. They're nice. These roses. So. If y'all new to my channel, please take your time out and subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. 
you know, my group is crafting together this one. Come hang out with us. I'm gonna put this strip of bling right here. The, just to juice it up a little bit. It's called juice. We're gonna juice it up. <laughs> I'm gonna still use hot glue only because I got my protective paper. I just put a little bit and start in the middle. I don't want to burn my hand. That's most of all my videos I burn my hand. Y'all keep telling me, girl, you better stop burning your chef. That's looking cute. Just gonna sit there. I see my arm is better. I still can't move it from my body, but I can still do enough where it's not causing me pain. Because you don't want to be in pain. So I got that one there, which I think is nice. Let me get my next piece. I'm gonna cut some more pieces. So what I'm doing now, just adding a little glue to close up my gaps because I don't want the gaps. And just hold it for a few seconds. This is foam, so foam is not gonna take too much time to, to come apart. Just hold it for a few seconds. And just gonna close them up. just hold it and that should close it up much as you can all of it don't need that it's just every now you might find one that might need a little extra something something okay so I'm just looking in here and seeing some of them just sideways add a little extra glue because we want them to sit properly and just hold it for a few seconds and that's going to help close up the gaps so I got some of these I guess I might just stick them on there somewhere in the middle once I close all my gaps up I'll be able to stick the little gems on there or something. So I close all these gaps up. So when I put the, the rest of the bling on it, it'll make it look nice. That's all. You know, you gotta move stuff around. Put too much pressure with you on your lamp because it's plastic like I said looking pretty good so here's what I decided to do is add some these little round pieces inside there it won't really close the gap up, but it will, you know, make it look nicer. See, these little gems I add in there. I'm going to put some more. Put some here. Got one there, one there. Stick them one up there. We don't need a lot of them pressures. Just, just going to hold the flowers together. A bit <coughs> and let it stick. So, I was like, I'd like to say thank you to people who's been calling. You know, I love to have people to talk to, so thank you for calling and 
you know, asking me questions and talking to me. So, you know, makes me feel like, okay, I've done something right. This is the last one. I'm going to put that here. Pushing these flowers together. And this glue is going to close up that hole, that space right there. So, let's see. Get it together. Let's wrap it up. Gotta wrap up your, wrap up your display. <laughs> this light bulb, yeah. You know these light bulbs don't get hot. You can hold your hand on it. All right, y'all ready? Let's get this lamp on here so I can figure out what I'm gonna do to the to go all the way around. Listen, put it up against the wall. You want it all the way around? I could do an all the way around one, but that all the way around one going to take cost some money. Because, especially if you want it done quicker, then it's going to cost money because Amazon, like I said, Amazon charged $10 for this box of flowers. This box of flowers you can get from Timu for $5. Yeah. It's gonna give it a nice touch. Add some glue, and then I'm finished with my video. I hope y'all like my videos, and if you do, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification button. I got more than 150 videos that I've done in two years, so I'm sure it's something you like because basically everything is still out, and the stuff that I've done in the beginning is coming back out again. So. I'm sure it's something that you like. The group is crafting together as one, you know. So that's the one lamp. I'm going to an event, so maybe I'll do a pink one, a red rose one. So I think people will like it. It's so pretty! Thanks for watching my video. Hope you like it. Bye. So I didn't like the piece I put on here. So I'm just going to take them all off. And I'm going to put the new piece on that I do like. <laughs> Which is the circles that match with the, the bling that's inside. I think that would be better. So I'm gonna stick those on and leave one hanging. Just a change of glue. We don't need a whole lot. lamps are very easy it's so easy you can do it to your own home lamp or any lamp you buy I suggest you hit some of them flea markets up and yard sales they always got lamp shades you can buy lamp shades for Walmart and decorate your own lamp shade 
and create something beautiful on your own. So, like I said, I, want, I just I saw it in my group. I thought it was very nice. People wanted to ask questions about it, and I just wanted to share how this is made so that y'all can make your own. I don't think I've seen this on on a Dollar Tree one yet. So. I think it might need one on the top too. 